I'm Glenn King from Raceway Kia here in Freehold, New Jersey. Today we're going to go over some of the technology options on a new 2018 Kia Optum with the technology package. First you'll notice our dash, set up much like in an airplane. You have your center console here that has your full instrument instrumentations on the dash here. To first work off on a technology package you're going to look at is a navigation option. On a technology package, navigation is built into the dash of the car. You simply hit NAV for your navigation options. You go to map and it pulls it up on the screen there. Typically like in the past models, you can set your address, your previous destinations, your restaurants, um, your amusement parks, wherever you want to go, relatives, houses, things like that. Then the other option is you go to radio. You, you hit the radio button, it pulls up your standard FM radio, AM radio, Sirius radio. So you have your, all, all your selections there. Another option is for putting all your music on a USB drive. You simply place it into the USB port or underneath the dash. That one pulls up everything on the dash. It'll start reading the music that you put on your little USB plug phone. You plug in one of these wires for an Apple phone right into USB plug and you hook it up to your phone. It will pull all your apps up on your phone onto the dash here so you can simply self-talk to the dash now instead of your phone. This little compartment right here is meant to hold your phone right there. Text, talk to phone, talk to directions, talk to radio. You never have to touch your phone while you're driving. Some of the other nice options on the technology package here, we have our air conditioning controls, air conditioning controls here. You can hit auto and do sync where you can control everything from one button. If your passenger is colder and they want to be hotter, they can also hit on sync and set the temperatures on, on their side of the car to what they like. Some of the other nice features Kia installs is called the Kia system here. You hit that little star button and then that'll pull up your Kia Uvo system. Um, that lets you actually put um, curfews on the car, put a driving distance on the car, speed limits on the car that parents like to know about so they can always know what their children are doing. Um, but for other stuff it has my car, my car zone. My car zone lets you track where your car is if you go to a concert. Or if you go to a hospital, any type of place, or mall, a big parking lot, you want to come out instead of hitting the alarm button to find your car, you have the app on your phone. It ties you right into your car through the Kia Uvo system or e-service system, now they call it. And it'll walk you right to your car. One of the most important safety features on the Kia system is it has automatic dial to 911. When you hook your phone up to this car and we program your phone to the car, God forbid if an airbag is deployed, when that happens, it automatically calls 911 for you to give your location. Um, so you do not have to pick up a phone, you do not have to dial. Some of the more fun features on the car. On the steering wheel, you'll notice you have your cruise buttons here. This little folder here, it looks like papers, is your file folder. You push that folder and that changes all your settings on the dash. As I'm walking through all the different sections, this is the regular user settings here. You can pick different things you like to do, how you like to drive in a car. You can hit convenience. You can program the seat to stay in one spot. You can program the seat to move back when you get out of the car so it's wider back when you get in. You can program the steering position to be in a certain spot. The wiper de delay time you can change. Um, there's a numerous amount of choices for the way you like to be positioned in a car that people like to play around with. You can leave a compass up on the dash as well. Um, you have your lane departure. That's one of the options that's very important too for driving, especially long distances. If you start to weave in and out of a line on the shoulder or the middle lane of the highway, it'll beep on that side of the car to let you know which lane you're crossing over and make you more alert to stay center in the lane. On the left side of the steering wheel over here, which is a little hard to see, is your blind spot button. Your blind spot button you always want to leave on. That lets you know when there's someone on the shoulder or back corner of your car. If they're on the left, the back button on the left is going to light up on the mirror here and then the beeps on the left side of the car. If they're on the right and they come into your space, it'll beep on the right side of the car and light up in the right mirror. Your talk to your phone voice. You can just simply, if you have an Apple iPhone, you can just say, hey Siri, or you can hit a button here on your dash. Some people like to push the button, that'll start the automatic talking, and then the phone will come up and say, what would you like to do? Um, the speaker's located nice and convenient right above our head, so you do not have to yell. Um, or talk that loud, it is very sensitive. It will pick it up from there as well. Also, while you're up here, you have your LED lights. Um, you can program how you like them, just like in an airplane. 
they go on and off and they're very uh, direct and bright in the car at night to read papers or extra maps or anything if you're checking something else in the car while you're driving. The middle button is your sunroof. One touch opens up the screen and pulls that all the way back. Your second touch will open up the actual sunroof and bring it all the way back. Although today it's a little cloudy on us, but it is nice and bright when you open that up. It gives you a sense of openness. One touch back closes the glass and pulls everything back. And then the screen closes completely inside too. On your rear view mirror, you have automatic sensing mirror here. You simply push this button, turns a little green light on. If a car comes up behind you with high beams, it'll automatically adjust for you so they're not hitting you right in the face. Typical things that we always look for is our wipers, which is on the right in a Hyundai. I mean, not in a Hyundai, in a Kia. You can put that down or up. Set your times and adjustments. On the left, you have your auto lights for your auto light controls. They go up and down. Um, and as I just mentioned Hyundai by mistake, I just want to let you know we are part of Hyundai Corporation. We had the same warranties involved with our cars because they're made in the same, uh, actually production, they're produced in the same factory in Georgia for most of our vehicles. They have a 100,000 mile, 10 year warranty, engine, drive, tra transmission, um, you have 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year warranty on the car. You also have five years and 60,000 miles on your e services on this car. Um, on the door, on the driver's side, on the tech package, you do have your memory seats. You can program that in. That is with the tech package option. On the left side of the door, you have your automatic buttons to turn the mirrors in to automatic fold, which is very popular when you go into an ATM machine or going anywhere close, like a McDonald's for takeout. Um, you can do that manually. You can leave it on auto so when you turn the car off and automatically lock the car, the mirrors automatically fold in. Here is your power lock buttons, your, chafe, your child safety lock button for the rear windows, and your automatic adjust for your windows here, and your automatic touch will push, one touch of the button pushes the window all the way down. Inside the car, your airbags are located in the driver front. You have your typical airbag that most cars have in a steering wheel. Nice thing Kia does in the front for the front two passengers. There's an additional airbag that pops out of the door between us and the door. If we are in an accident, it will pop out here the size of a basketball between the door itself. And then you also have your airbag that pops up on top of the door and covers the glass. As far as charging ports for friends and people in the car for extra charges for phones, you have two extra 12 volt power plugs there. That's your reading a USB, also reads an auxiliary plug. Um, your climate control is set here. Also your fan control. Now we're gonna go down to the gear shifter. The gear shifter here, this technology package has ventilated seats and heated seats. Simply by pushing this button, that'll make it cold to blow cold air through the back of the seat. Go to red, that makes warm air go through the back of the seat and the bottom of the seat. You have electronic parking on this car. Simply by pushing the button, you pull that up, it puts the emergency brake on, pull it again or step on the brake and put it in the gear to release it. Your drive mode button is also located right here. While you're driving, you can hit that between sport mode, eco mode, and regular mode, which is listed on your dash by your RPM gauge. On the RPM, eco mode is one of the most popular modes they use. That will get you the most gas mileage per gallon of gas in the car. Sport mode gets you the most pickup or quickest pickup for pulling onto a turnpike or a parkway or any other high-speed highway. Um, and then it shows your RPM gauge, shows the temperature, your water, you have your speedometer, your gas gauge also on your dash. With the Uvo options, it gives you other things besides putting curfews and tracking people in the car. It'll let you know you can pull up your favorite local restaurants, your previous destinations. It'll even give you the closest gas stations as an option on the car as well. That gives you a pretty good overview of all the technology involved in a Kia Optima. Um, if you have any questions, just stop in and see us. Contact me at Glenn at RacewayKia.com. Go on our website, RacewayKia.com, where we have the largest selections of any Kias in the state. And I hope to see you soon.